Aloha! Today I'm going to show you how to build a solar bird bath. I got this off of Amazon for about $25. It's a solar panel, comes with a long nine foot line, uh, electrical line, and then the pump, okay? Uh, there's also different attachments that go along with it to give you a different spray, a water spray. All right, so I have that. And then in addition, because this doesn't come with the actual tubes, I got this, uh, it's a food grade tube. It's about a one half inch um, diameter of a tube. Okay, that's going to attach to this. All right, and shoot water out. And I'll show you why, because I have to put this through a vase and um, also the bird bath. Um, I have a concrete bird bath that I have to prepare uh, that came with the house, per se. So again, these are things I've already had in my property. And um, the only purchases I made were these two things, okay? Um, tubing and a solar panel. In a dish. I also have a drill that I'll be using to drill some holes with this uh, rotary percussion masonry drill bit. I never used this before, but I'm assuming it's gonna work really well with the ceramic bird bath that I have to put a couple holes in. Okay, so let's go give it a shot. Okay, so what I have here is a concrete bird bath that only has a, one hole in it, and I need um, two holes opposing size or maybe more to drain the water in. So the spout's gonna be in here and it's gonna shoot water upwards and it's gonna land and it needs to drain somewhere else, okay? So that's why we need the holes to drain into this big pot that I have here. Uh, it was one of my gardening pots and I decided to repurpose it for this bird bath. Um, you see, this is pretty heavy. <sighs> In here, I, I put a cork stopper in the bottom of the hole there, and I had glued the other side with some silicone glue, uh, so I could make this so that so the pot doesn't drain of its water because the water is going to go inside here. This is the water reservoir, and hopefully the solar thing will work. Okay. So there we go. We have a functioning bird feeder. It actually works. I'm so excited. The water is in here. I put like four jugs of water in there and I, I could fill it up some more. And then I had to change. As you see, so I, was, I was trying different water uh, spigots, if that's what you call it, uh, because the first one was too strong and it was shooting, it was shooting outside of the, of the pot. So I want to make sure the water stayed. And then here, you can see with all the moss growing, uh, I did drill some holes. I lost my holes though, right there, there's one. And you could hear it draining. Here's the other one. It's draining back into the reservoir, okay? So I won't have to worry about refilling this bird bath. Uh, so this is an excellent item. There's no battery, there's no electrical outlet that I have to use for it. Just that solar panel. And hopefully this will attract all the birds. Uh, to my garden. Um, I'm excited to see this. See how cool is this? I made a solar bird bath and to make it more attractive to attracting, well, attracting birds and bees, I planted all these flowers by the bird bath and added some glass uh, pebbles, which I got from Dollar Store. And look at this heart shaped rock here. An amethyst. And I also put a little platform so the birds could sit on it or hummingbirds so they don't slip off or feel unsafe. They could perch yourself on the rock. And then a couple of shells also.
Oh my god, this is exciting. The birds are coming. Thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.